Part of our mandate here at the school is to provide leaders, to educate leaders for tomorrow. We want them to be leaders for the state, the nation, and throughout the world. And we think that uh, these sorts of connections with nations like China will help to equip students for that kind of global leadership. So once every week, our intermediate Chinese class connected with Hangzhou foreign language schools by video conference. We started with the presentation from the instructor or the students, followed by one-on-one -on -one student conversations. And then the class will finish with the classroom discussions and sharing. We started with personal interests, family values, and we moved to school life, college application, and extended to culture, environmental issues, and political topics. In our distance education department, we have a, a lot of experience in video conferencing. So we were very happy to set up this connection so that our residential students could have this experience. Those students visited NCSSM in January and a group of our students went to their school in February. And this really provided the students with uh, a very unusual opportunity at the high school level to have cultural and linguistic immersion in China. More than one student said to me that he thinks the experience changed his life. IVC was crucial. It was like coming home. It was, you knew the people. They were all your friends. There were inside jokes. It was an incredibly important part of the experience and I think enriched it to a huge degree. The most exciting thing about my trip to China was staying with my host family. We hit many t tourist spots in Beijing, Shanghai, Hangzhou, but it was staying with my partner and seeing China as it is for the residents that was really the incredible experience. So I find out the students um, are more open-minded and a lot of stereotypes are broken. Going to the destination and talking with the people changes the way you not only see China, but you see the world. And it helps you comprehend not only the vastness, but the people in it. <laughs>